Hey everybody, this is Brie Babineau and this is Voices. What the heck is going on is first and secondly, it's wow, it amazes me that I can be a blessing to someone, people that I have never met in my life, but they can gravitate to um, my worship. It, it, it's the most incredible feeling ever and I don't take it for granted. It's a humbling experience for me. Hmm. I have two things. First thing is all eyes are on you. Well, it's not even a difference. It's, it's pretty much the same thing. My father was a pastor, so all, all eyes were on me um, growing up. Now being an artist, it's like people are waiting to see if you fall or waiting to see um, if you mess up. So it's like certain things you're kind of cautious about doing because you don't necessarily know what the response you'll get from the people. It's like you can't even, not me, because I'm gonna be me regardless, but for some people it's like you can't even be who you are or be who you wanna be because of what others may think. Um, the second reason, and I lost it, is you have to be sensitive to the people um, because you, have, you also have people who are on different levels of the faith or different levels of um, what they believe, you know what I'm saying, or as far as their knowledge of the Bible. So you may agree with one thing, you know, and have the understanding on it, but then you have to be cautious because you have somebody who thinks something totally different. So it's, it's, it's just being sensitive to the people and knowing um, or having the wisdom on when to, when to do something and when to not do something. It was a surreal experience. Um, I was a fan. When certain people that I had grew up to listening to their music would say my name, I would be like, oh my God, they know my name. Like, such and such knows my name. Like, this is crazy. So it was, it was surreal. Um, I, was, I was honored and humbled that they even knew me or even, you know, watched my ministry. So, um, man, it was incredible. It's still incredible, still incredible. So with my first album, um, it was called Keys to My Heart. That album was the introduction of who I was. In the, in the essence of not who I who the people saw. Let me just, it just was an introduction of me to the, to the world. Um, the difference between Keys to My Heart and The Encounter, I would say is, The Encounter is my baby. It's because I had full control um, full creative direction of what I wanted to do, um, what I wanted to be, what I wanted to translate, what I wanted the music to sound like. Um, and for me, the encounter is basically who the people fell in love with, which was that authentic, raw, just me going in. And the keys to my heart was studio. Um, I really didn't have, um, say or control of what I wanted to do or what I wanted to sound like. And it's, I mean, no offense, I didn't know what I wanted at the time. I was just getting into the game, trying to figure things out as an artist and me as a person. So I took two years off to find and search to see who Brie was and what Brie wanted to present to the, key, to the body of Christ. So in the encounter, I did a live, um, a live recording. And um, it was very intimate. It wasn't a big, um, big crowd. It was very intimate. It was um, in my home, in my hometown, um, and it was just basically me pouring out my heart in front of family and friends and people that I love and people that I was close to. I got two, um, and I wrote on both of the songs. So the first one I would say would um, hit home and real personal was, uh, it's called You're My, uh, He's My Rock. And um, it's like a country, got like a little country vibe to it, but it's really dope. And I think that the people will gravitate to it. It's kind of like a testimony song, basically. The second song is like full out worship. Like we'll have you in your prayer closet snotting and travailing if you catch my drift. And that song is called We Want More and it's featuring 
um, a woman by the name of Psalmist Rain, who is phenomenal. And um, yeah, that's that's going to that's gonna take you out. Those two are the, I feel, are um, heavy hitters on this, uh, on this album. We are ready. Come do what you want to do. We are hungry. We give all in full pursuit of you. Because we want more. Oh, we want more. Oh, oh. so that's the song. We are scheduled to release it March the 13th. I have to look over there and get the correct information. So March 13th, The Encounter, which is my sophomore album, um, part one. There's two parts to this, okay? So part one will be released March 13th. So it'll be on iTunes, um, Google Plus Play, um, let me not say YouTube, Spotify, but anywhere where you can get your music, buy your music, stream music, it'll be there. So get it. It's going to bless you.